It was 20 below. I went to start my car and the battery was dead. Nothing worse than that. I had an important meeting with a CEO. I went to go start my car, turned the key, and all I heard was, you oh, know, almost died. A dead car battery it happens to the best of us at the worst times. Fortunately, a quick jump start can bring a dead battery back to life. But it's important to do it the right way. To properly jump start your car, the first thing you want to do is park the working vehicle close to the one that needs to be jumped, but don't let them touch. Next, shut off the ignition on both cars. Be sure to turn off your lights, radio, and anything else that can drain power. To connect the jumper cables, connect the red positive clamp to the dead battery's positive post. You'll see a plus on the battery. Connect the other red clamp to the good battery. Make sure the cables don't dangle into either engine compartment where they can get tangled onto moving parts. Now connect the black negative clamp to the working vehicle's negative battery terminal. Once set, connect the other negative cable to any unpainted metal surface on the engine of the dead car. Do a final check to make sure the cables are set and not near any moving engine parts. Now start the working car. Let it idle a few minutes to feed juice to the dead battery. When you think it's got enough charge, start the dead vehicle and let them idle together. Once the dead car is running smoothly, disconnect the cables in reverse order. Be careful not to let the dangling cables fall into the engine compartment or touch each other. Finally, make sure you drive the revived vehicle somewhere safe before shutting it off. And remember, always carry jumper cables. It will save you and your battery the next time you get stranded.